people are wanting to know if there's something definite that we can do in terms of detecting whether somebody has a virus, has the NCOV or not, and at the soonest possible time. Is yeah. there a way? Well, right now, the good news is the World Health Organization actually released assay protocols to empower countries to have their ability to start the detecting the virus on their own. What is an assay protocol? An assay is like um, a how to put together a test that will identify the target virus. The first that they did is they actually released the entire whole genome sequence of the virus for public. Okay. So once you have that sequence, it will allow you to design molecular probes. It's about something that wow. picks up those viruses. Yeah. It's like a gene map? Yes, yeah, like that. So it gets mapped out. And for that virus? For that virus, and you yeah. get to identify unique regions that will differentiate the novel coronavirus from the previous coronaviruses like SARS and MERS, COVID. Mm -hmm. So the, those sequences are already available in public and we it was able to access them as soon as it was actually made available. The other good thing there is the World Health Organization also released platforms for assay that has been validated by bigger centers across the globe and have contributed those assays uh, publicly. The, the difference is in some countries they can do it on their own in their own laboratories. Unfortunately, in areas with are financially challenged laboratory wise, like the Philippines, it would require facilities that can actually do scaling up. No? Uh, fortunately for us, um, the government has invested millions of pesos building the Philippine Genome Center. It's a state of the art facility here in the Philippines that oh, can do great. rich sequencing uh -huh. from as simple as capillary sequencing to as highfalutin as PacBio or the Illumina platforms. So have we done it? Have we, we actually? We have, this, we have the units. Fortunately for us, we don't have a positive sample yet in the Philippines. Ah, I see. So, so I don't want to phrase it this way, no, but. Yeah. Do we need somebody positive within the country to confirm. for you to? Oh, because wow. you need, you need okay. to run a sample to, mm -hmm. to run it. Oh, I see. It's a platform. It's like you have the recipe to do it. Okay. Uh, you just need the samples to be sent to you. I think we've been having problems with shipping samples outside the country because some of the shipping companies are scared mm -hmm. uh, bringing potentially biohazardous respiratory samples. I see. Thus, the need for us to develop our in-country mechanisms for rapid response and preparedness, and that includes advances in molecular diagnostics. In, this oh, wait, no, in layman's terms, you're saying that we can test the, the novel coronavirus right now, here in this country. Right we don't now, have to we, Australia. if there is a case, if that's there's what a case, you're saying. Yeah. But I think uh, um, we just need to coordinate or our our activities with the Department of Health, we are actually been discussing with them as an, an, as an office so that later on uh, uh, we can be part of the rapid response in terms of diagnostics. Now, we're putting together now the, the, the RT-PCR kit that will hopefully be able to be ready in the next 21 days uh, uh, for everybody to have access to later on in their own laboratories and training modules for all that in case it's needed. So we already developed a kit that can determine if, if someone is positive for NCOV. Yeah, we're just putting it together right now in terms of the raw materials because yes. you cannot develop a kit now and then make it ready for everybody, but, on, but you're only able to test two people. You must be able to scale it up yeah. several years back. But for this new coronavirus, we have the capability already. Of sequencing the, them. Yeah. yeah. In, I hope, I pray to God, it will not enter the country. Yes. yes. But if such an event happens, we can, we can support the Department of Health's effort to identify it. But that's you not also mean... mean how long does it take if you if you finally put a test together and uh, you test somebody? Most how long likely, does it take for, including for sequencing final? and all those you know uh, logistics. At best scenario, seventy two hours. Oh, seventy two. Oh, yeah. That's will your fun. kit? You will your kit need clearance from the WHO? Ah, uh, the, the the they actually released it under emergency emergency situation. Mm. It's like FDA exempted, like in the ah, US. Ah, I see.